Listen then, as I tell of the prophetic vision that led to Nebuchadnezzar's madness. For when he dreamed that great dream, his enchanters, sorcerers, and astrologers were once again unable to interpret the vision. When I was asleep, I had a dream which made me afraid. The images I saw terrified me. Belteshazzar, I looked and saw before me a tree in the middle of the land. A tree grew strong and tall. Its top touched the sky. And it was visible to the ends of the earth. Its leaves, they were beautiful. Its fruit was abundant. The beasts of the field took shelter under it, and the birds of the air lived in its branches. And from it, every creature was fed. Then I looked again, and I saw a messenger coming down from heaven. And he cried out aloud, Cut down the tree. Trim off its branches. Strip its leaves. Scatter its fruit. Let the beasts flee from under it, and the birds fly from its branches. But let the stump and its roots, bound in iron and brass, remain in the ground, in the grass of the field. Let it be drenched by the dew from heaven. Let it live with the animals of the earth, and let its mind be changed from that of a man to the mind of an animal. This is the dream that I had. What does it mean? My lord, if only the dream applied to your enemies and its meaning to your adversaries. The tree which you saw, which grew large and strong with its top touching the sky, you, O oh king, are that tree. You have become great and strong. Your greatness has grown until it reaches the sky, and your dominion extends to the distant parts of the earth. But you saw a messenger, a holy one, coming down from heaven, saying, Cut down the tree and destroy it, but leave the stump bound with iron and bronze in the grass of the field while its roots remain in the ground. Let him be drenched with the dew of heaven, let him live like wild animals. This is the interpretation, O King. And this is the decree that the Most High has issued against my Lord, the King. You will be driven away from people and live with the wild animals. You will eat grass like cattle until you acknowledge that the Most High is sovereign over the kingdoms of men and gives them to anyone he wishes. The command to leave the stump of the tree with its roots means that your kingdom will be restored to you when you acknowledge that the Most High rules. Therefore, O King, be pleased to accept my advice. Renounce your sins by doing what is right and your wickedness by being kind to the oppressed. Seek the Lord while he may be found. And it may be that your prosperity will continue. But the memory of kings is often short. And 12 months later, when the king was walking on the roof of the royal palace of Babylon. In all the world, is there anything like this? No, my king. My great wall, which mountain-like cannot be moved, I've made with mortar and brick. Its foundations I've placed upon the very bosom of the underworld, its top. I've raised mountain high. Is this not the great Babylon that I have built as my royal palace with my mighty power for the glory 
of my majesty. His words were still on his lips when a voice came down from heaven. Nebuchadnezzar, for your arrogance and your failure to give glory to the Most High, your authority is stripped from you. Go now from this kingdom which you claim. Your mind shall be reduced to that of an animal, and you will wander the land until you acknowledge the glory of God as above your own. Immediately, what had been said about Nebuchadnezzar was fulfilled. sought to make himself as great as he who rules above heaven, and the Lord would not have it. Because he insisted on being more than he was made, he became less than he was made. Because he aspired to be more than a man, he became less than a man. He became like the wild beasts. How did he survive alone in the wilds? Even in his insanity, Neither the lion nor the bear disturbed him, though he wandered alone and unarmed and slept naked in the places where they found their food. Because it had been prophesied that one day he would honor the Most High. For seven years he ranged the wild lands of Babylon. But it was not until the full time of his exile was completed that he turned his eyes toward heaven and declared, Praise me to the Most High. Honor and glory to him forever. Rise, Nebuchadnezzar. an eternal dominion. Before him, all the people of the earth are regarded as nothing. He may do as he pleases with the powers of heaven and all the people of the earth. And no one, no one may say him nay. No one may say him nay. Beware your place, for I am not as I was. Let it be recorded that I, Nebuchadnezzar, do praise, exalt, and glorify the King of Heaven, because everything he does is right, and all his ways are just. And those who walk in pride he is able to humble. 